Guacamele Super Turbo Championship Edition, the definitive Guacamele. Guacamele is a Metroidvania meets brawler game where you play as a luchador that sets out to save the daughter of El Presidente. And the Super Turbo Championship Edition makes this must-play classic even better, expanding its world, adding bosses, abilities, story, and adding in about two extra hours of gameplay. So if you haven't played Guacamele before, this is the version to get. This Metroidvania brawler took me around six and a half hours to complete and can be played with up to four players cooperatively. After hearing so many great things, I was excited to go back and play this game before Guacamele 2 came out, and boy am I happy I did. Admittedly, Guacamele took some time to grow on me. I didn't instantly fall in love. At first, I was a little confused why everyone loved it so much. Sure, the art style is nice and the game is full of humor, but the gameplay, the platform, and it all felt super simple and button mashy. But as the game goes on, it just gets better and better. No two hours of this game feels the same. The game slowly spoon feeds you new abilities that are mostly for traversing, allowing you to go back to past areas if you'd like for its collectibles to help you upgrade your health or endurance. But these also double as combat moves for the challenging and constantly engaging combat moments. The game increasingly gets challenging with both its platforming as well as its enemies. So you never feel like you're just going through the motions. Every minute of this this game is engaging and keeps you hooked. And the challenge is real, it's not frustration. Their costumes you can unlock to challenge you more and balance the character more towards your playstyle, all with their own perks and disadvantages. This is such a complete package from start to finish, a world that entices you to explore for its secrets. So many moments I would laugh out loud at the dialogue, platforming that feels fluent and makes you think, decently challenging bosses. I actually felt like bosses were more of the time to relax and breathe before you're thrown back out into platforming through this world. Guacamelee is a wonderfully paced game and is a must play for platforming fans or Metroidvania fans alike. I give Guacamele Super Turbo Championship Edition an 8.5 out of 10. If you played Guacamele Super Turbo Championship Edition, tell me what you thought about it down in the comment section below. If you haven't played it, tell me if you're picking it up. Thumbs up. If you liked the video, subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider supporting me on Patreon so that I can continue to bring you reviews for all the newest games at patreon.com slash superkengaming. You'll get access to early audio and video versions of reviews, exclusive Let's Play videos, and you'll even get to choose the game I play next. Thanks for watching, and of course, stay beautiful.